everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of It's Jenkins. This episode of It's Jenkins is brought to you by Quicksell. Be well by Quicksell. Well, we've got the main lance back now, so that's good. And uh, the Banner Snatch is still coming back for the second lance. If we go to the mech bay real quick, I can show you what we're at now. Hey, Godzilla man. should be back in 16 you days. I think what we'll do is we'll play one more match. And then I'll wait for the Annihilator to come back. And we'll run the Godzilla in this lance here. I may, I don't know, I, uh, maybe not, because I want to try out the, uh, the, uh, LBX, um, Savage Wolf, so let's just see, let's just play this one today, and then we'll see where we're going to go after that, all right, uh, let's go to the command center, kind of got an idea of what I want to try today, there's a four skull here against Tamarin Abbey, it's a capture base, or sorry, it's against, um, the, uh, Steiner. So we're going to go ahead and do this one. I don't know what to expect. Um, maybe we get a Steiner Scout Lance. I don't know. Uh, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go for a million. The extra three salvage is not going to be that big a deal. But we do want sea bills because the end of the month is coming up. And I still have to outfit the Atlas here. So, all right. Uh, the Lance should be set up. We're going to take the Testudo. Yeah, I think we're good. Let's go. Yeah, you keep saying that. Command interface initiated. All right, let's see what we're up against here. Where's the facility up here? Ooh, it's, I think it's been a really long time since I've been on this map. I like this map. Uh, yeah, yeah, clouds, stuffs. Okay, so, oh, it doesn't look like there's a, really? There's no, oh, there is. Somebody's over here. Okay, so we can kind of drop Ooh, do I want to, though? Um, mm. I was going to say we could drop on the base and activate, but then they'll get another lance coming in shortly after that. So rather than doing that, let's try and take on whoever's here first. Uh, let's start maybe back here. Ooh, we don't have a lot, a lot of long-range firepower, though. Yeah, I love this map. Like, this this is the kind of city fighting that there should be more of, like towns and stuff, in the game, rather than having the big, massive cities. Like, there should be stuff like more like this, too. Uh, let's... Ooh, we hit them from up here? Let's try that. Let's go back here. We'll come down... I don't think I've ever tried it coming down from this way before, so we're going to do that. Take the height advantage, see what we can get out of this. Hopefully we have tough, tough opposition. Oop, that looks like... Mad Cat? Gungnir? Centurion down there, I think. Yeah, man. No, Griffin. Firestar OD, so it's an Omni. Yeah, it's a Mad Cat. So maybe that's one of the specialist Mad Cats. At least it looks like it. Receiving you. All right, Scooter, let's get into a position where they can't shoot us because you can't shoot them. So, uh... We got to get down that road. So let's at least pull into here. Maybe we can get some more sensor locks on people. Throttle down. Nope. Uh, of course I didn't set my things again. Alright. End it there. Commander. Alright, you're not going to have too much of a chance to hit anybody either. Let's drop you down. How far can we get? Uh, let's go here. I don't want them going there. I don't know what's on it, but we don't want him shooting at us. He's probably got ranged stuff, so... Gonna look to hit him with the plasma cannons early. Yeah. Junkers, Ju88. Let's get you um, mm, here. Always takes us a turn or so to build up some speed. So let's just stay out of uh, visual range. We'll move over here. Now I think when they get reinforcements, they show up up here. 
So we're going to have to be very wary of that when we uh, pop the base. We don't get guys spawning behind us. Unless these guys are all dead. Oh, who's this guy? Rakshasa. Nice. Avoiding that early game damage. Standing by. Ooh, we got some range. Uh, who do I want to shoot, though? I don't think I want that... Give that Gungnir a chance to hit me, but can I target this guy's back? Let's see what we can do here. I mean, what's the worst case scenario? The guy's got heavy PPCs. 43 in the back. Or a lot more on this guy. Let's drop the combat shotgun down to the bottom. I wish the shift click works, but it doesn't. It'd be nice to be able to hit the up button and have it cycle up underneath, but whatever. Um, do I want to just inflict damage? This guy's pretty damn cool looking though. A little bit angular from my like. Yeah, it's a regular Marauder. A little bit angular. Um, let's go for overall damage. Because we're only going to get one back shot probably on the Rakshasha. So let's just go for overall damage on this guy. Alright, bunch of damage. Not bad. Yan. Ready for orders. They've been loving you, but let's see if we can get you behind stuff. Let's just move over here. Whoops, wrong person. That was a mistake. Oh man, I was like thinking about the Testudo. Alright, well, let's sensor lock uh, the Griffin because we'll drop an arrow on him. Gotta lock. No, you don't. Whatever. Alright. I don't know why in my head I was thinking Yanissary was in, this t in the, t in the uh, Testudo. Ooh, Goss Rifle. Ooh, Heavy Goss. Oh, tub thumping. Heavy damage. Yeah, I see that. 100 damage. Holy crap. Alright. Well, we know who the Testudo's shooting at then. Oof, I'm open now. Alright. That's not good. What's up, boss? I want a line of sight. I want a line of sight, because I want to see if I can put this, uh... That's out of range for direct. But 54 is still pretty good percentage. Let's get, let's return some fire on this guy. We'll go with the full ultra on it. Firing. Yeah, not shooting that down. Alright. Ready for orders. That's on top of the rock. Ah, oh God, it's such garbage chance to hit. Well, got it. Let's push him, cause that's what I do. That's what I do. That's pretty good. Nope. Do I want to capitalize on the Griffin? Griffin's got nothing in this arm, I don't think. LRM is here, I believe. Large Pulse is here. Uh, let's let's keep applying pressure on this guy. Roger. Try and open some stuff up if we can. We'll get the big guns on this guy in a minute. Ready to get it on. All right. Um, same thing. Roger. Flanking run. Yep, same guy. Roger. Okay, head hit. Nice. Then the torso hit should be... Like, once we take the torso, that'll, that'll be two wounds. Ooh, hit his own guy. At least it looked like he did. 
No, it landed right in front of him. Alright, I thought he was behind him. Damn it. Stop hitting me! Someone Is it my leg that's open? Trouble. Probably. Trouble. Yeah, well, at least it's the leg. I mean, I'll be slow, but I'm not losing any weapons. AMS is jammed too. Yeah, you run. You run. All right. Commander. We're not going to be able to shut up that. Uh... Do we go after the Griffin or do we go after the Rakshasa? I think the Rakshasa. Although we got to shoot past our own guy, but I think it's better to go after them because. They're a higher energy build. Hopefully we can shut him up. Oh, he did get shot in the back. Alright, well, let's give it to him. I copy. We shot our own guy in the back, too. Damage minimal. Or did we? It looked like we did. Oof, you got a pair of... Alright. And lots of armor. That's a good uh, loadout for that guy. At least we got good competition this time. Yeah, you run. Run. We're coming for you, though. Hopefully my AMS is unjammed now. What do you need? All right. Junkers, Ju88. Let's get in on these guys. Um, can we? We can't see the Griffin. I'm gonna do this though. Uh, let's vigilance you. Hopefully, get ahead of them next turn. I'm gonna get down into here and see what we can open up here. Acknowledged. Ah, oh, shit! Really? I'm not even close to the I'm damn base. Hostile contacts on screen. Yeah, no shit. Now we're in trouble. Now we are in trouble. Let's just go for the more damage. Okay, this guy's overheating, which is nice. We got a chance for a backstrike against him next turn. He is kind of quiet. Uh, I don't have the ability to... Let's go here. The ability to uh, lose my instability, so I gotta walk it. Yeah, we we'll go after this guy. All in, baby. Firing. All right, stripping armor. Standing by. All right, Quakey. They hit you in the front, eh? I think we're okay, probably for another. Wow, it's a lot of damage to the front. Let's turn a little bit. And then we'll go indirect after this. Okay. Yeah, marginal on both. But let's fire here. We'll get maybe we can get some backsplash damage. Really both hit. No. Oh, a little bit. Okay, we stripped half the yep. armor off of him already. Yep. Backstrike there, though. I can't quite... It says I can turn, but I don't quite have the... We need to apply pressure here. We need to break this line. So, we gotta do this. I can't get him from there. That's pretty good. We'll take that one right there. Got it. No shooting, just running. So with them all facing us, the idea is to try and get them to turn left or right side to the to my main line. So I'm not hitting them flat on and splashing damage everywhere. Oh, there's a good chance we could probably well, I don't know about killing them, but a couple of engine crits would be nice. Heat sink crit. Oh, oh, we get the kill. That works too. Gotcha. Devastating. Alright, guns off the field. Now everybody's on this guy. If we can. Oh, 
Wow, the AMS is out of ammo already. Standing by. All right, Scooter, we are applying pressure. Oh, uh, but to who? I, I really have to worry about when they get reinforcements too. I gotta really think about where that's where we want to be positioned when that happens. But I can't do anything unless I close. Not with this guy. So let's think about maybe... Doing this. They're probably, there are reinforcements are probably going to appear behind me. I, I would wager. So... Marginally better shots on this guy will keep my heat lower. But more shots on this guy. Let's go with the marginally better chance to hit. Keep my heat lower. How's this guy torso looking? Ah, it's about half damage. Maybe we can get some more splash on there. Nope. Yeah, see, he's got to worry about this guy, right? Nice. Nice! Yeah, I mean, the good thing, the AI does play smarter, for sure. Standing by. Oh, that guy might be out of LRMs. Let's see if we can get that Griffin side. I mean, we could splash the Marauder, but he didn't do anything this turn, and if we can take the Griffin side here, that might really help. Uh, let's just go after him. He's still got ammo, so I don't know why he didn't fire. Okay, a bunch of misses, a bunch of hits. Waiting for orders. Full speed sounds good. Can we get into trees? We can. On the move. Full speed. We can get into the trees. And there's the knockdown for whatever reason. Yes, Commander. I'm not wounded, so I'm not exactly sure what the deal was there, but maybe because the leg actuator is damaged, probably. But I don't know. Not much you can do about it now. All right, let's see if we can overheat this guy and shut him down. So he does have a heavy gauss rifle and a pair of heavy PPCs. Oh, yeah. A little bit of heat. Good to go. Let's fire on the Griffin. Like I said, maybe we can take that side. Hopefully the splash damage comes into play here. All right, good damage, but not enough. Let's see what they do. I didn't go incendiary on that because I have a feeling that we're going to need... Yeah, he's running. That we're going to need the incendiaries yes, um, for the next round to shut them up fast because we've taken some damage and I don't want to... Let's go here. Don't worry about the guy running away. Let's worry about these guys. But I, wanna w I think we take the firepower on this guy. Yeah. Ah, uh, well, streaks didn't get through. Only one of them Waiting hit, though. Really? Okay, moving down. No target. I don't like leaving the uh, battle master back there by by himself, but we need to really overheat this guy. Uh, let's sensor lock you. No, why is maybe his sensor locks are what do you want to call it? Immune to a uh, or his evasion is immune to sensor lock. Let's go after this. I know it says we're going to be overheating, but we're not because we're only firing. Let's just make sure we do that so it understands that we're only firing two. Nice. 32 heat. That's not too bad. It looks right like he down. is overheating, though. Holding firm.
What are we at? 15? Yeah, let's see what this griffin does. Oh, my AMS is back up. Not that it really helped. Uh, let's get you up before anybody else. And please just walk from now on. Actually, do you need to move? I'm up. Let's go. That's garbage. Yeah, I'm not going to move. It's going to make it easier for him to hit. Actually, you know what we should do? Wait, that's the... Yeah, God, here's my directions again. That's the left side. So if we just kind of like... Do that. That'll give him a side shot. Hopefully he won't take my leg. Let's just hammer him. Target confirmed. Alright, a little bit of damage. Ready for orders. The question is... Yeah, he's getting weak CT. So my thought was, do we push this guy and try and kill him? Or do we go after the main threat, which is the heavy heavy Gauss rifle? And it's the heavy Gauss rifle we need to go for. So let's just position ourselves like this. He's most likely going to fire it anyway. But I think it's got a minimum range. So if we can get our fast movers inside that range, or at least maybe do a lot of damage to his CT. All weapons, go. Ooh, or we just kill him, that works too. Tango is trash. God, that p -p 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 pulse laser is just need? insane. I want this griffin. Let's move. I want the griffin. We might be able to kill most of these guys before the uh Copy that. That should do it. That one's gone. It will be nice oh, what's up, boss? if we could do that. I think my my ultra, I should probably oh, turn it off. Alright, we got a good shot. 31. Uh, let's just fire one round. I gotta shut it off next turn to drop the recoil because it's just getting worse and worse to hit. But we'll go this Back route. Time. Rear armor. Here it comes. Uh, not a direct hit, but a good enough. Keep them panicked. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Oh, in the city. Okay. Kind of behind us, but kind of not. That would have been an interesting fight if we had started on this side. We'd have everybody right on our, like, facing us. Anubis. Okay, that could be a problem. It's going to be hard to hit. Well, it made it easier for them to see me. Really hoping that building would stay there. Crossbow, that's not good. Series. Or Caesar, sorry. Fucking Owens. Well, it's got to worry about the Black Knight, so. Commander? What's up, Jesse? How's it hanging, buddy? Well, not as much damage as I was hoping. Critical hit, Commander. But we did only have a 50% chance to hit, so... Not too bad. But what are you doing? Yeah. Turn in the fight. Alright, good stuff. Yeah. You take care of this guy for me, and then you can come back to fight the other guys. God, the Duke, man. This thing is like... It's severely OP, really. I'd love to have four of these. Here we go. See ya. Mech destroyed. Like, with good pilots, it's like... 
just brutal. And that was only just a general move. Like if that was a full sprint across the map board, you have like, you know, eight or ten chevrons of evasion and like, it's just really ridiculous, right? Ready for orders. All right, buddy. Um, can you continue with this uh, Jesse Owens guy here? Probably. Probably, unless it's lying to me, but we'll find out here in a second. It didn't look like I was turned enough, but I think the quick draw's got a... I'm pretty sure it's got additional turn ratio, because it just seems like I have better feel of fire with this thing. Anyway, let's just give it to him. Taking the shot. Bin hit. Crittered him out with the machine guns. Beautiful. One more for the kill. Yeah, whatever. I just exploded him. He's dead. Doesn't really matter how. Receiving you. Doesn't matter how. Let's get you back up here. Not quite close enough. No but shooting, just running. Got good it. enough. The Caesar Romero is kind of scares me here. I know it's a cataphract variant, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's a cataphract variant. Pretty damn cool looking though. And this guy. Oh, they they've got the uh that's a lot of energy weapons and a crossbow. Sure. They got a proper model for the crossbow now as opposed to the one they had before. Can't remember what they were using, but... Unless, it was, unless I'm mistaken. I thought it was a different model, but... What's up, boss? Alright, Yan. Yeah, um... They're gonna come around that corner and just, like, give it to you fire in the upper torso. Alright, let's see what we can do here heat-wise. looking pretty good. Use the rifle on him anyway, unless it lands right at our feet, you know. Engaging. Yeah, he's not running anywhere next turn. Receiving you. And you, uh, what's your back armor like? 200. So let's leave you in this position. Let's switch this around to Inferno and drop one onto Caesar Romero here. Confirmed. Okay, not much, but did add a little bit of heat, and this guy is standing in heat. I'm just worried. I want him to move slower. I don't know what his full loadout is. Okay, it spread to him. Crossbow J. J for janky. Who's first? Anubis. Christ, he's fast. Well, not anymore. He's heated up. Damage minimal. Um, I don't know if I can get. I oh, I can't. I thought this was lower than that. I was thinking, why aren't these guys shooting at me? But this is pretty high. Yeah, it's like totally blocking their line of sight to me. All I gotta do is shift a little bit right. What's up, boss? We'll hold off on that, though. Uh, let's get... If I push, they can just crest and shoot me. Um, let's get into here. I want this Anubis gone, I think, before I move in. Because somebody's going to be taking a lot of stuff to the face, and uh, Acknowledged. I would rather that only be one turn instead of a couple of turns. Standing by. Can you? Doesn't look like you've got much options. I can walk there though, right? Let's get up here. We'll keep these blocking them from seeing me. It's the trebuchet is faster too, so it can get into battle quicker. So if it's farther away, it's not such a big deal. I just want to get shots on this guy. Oh, see ya. Tango down. That's two crit outs for him, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. I need you back over here, buddy. Let's get some speed back. Understood. Moving fast. Uh, not as fast as you were before, but give it next turn. You'll be right on them. Okay. Done. Uh, let's reserve you. 
Orders. Let's reserve you. Oh god, let's reserve you. It's gonna tank our initiative next turn, but let's see. When are these guys going? I don't. Did they go already this turn? Or was that last turn? Reserving action. Reserving action. Crossbow this time. Aye aye. All right, that's a little heat. Receiving you. All right, you need to do this. It's going to help a little bit. We've already tanked our initiative a lot, but let's get into here. Because if I can get out of there like next turn before they shoot, that'll be good. Otherwise, I got a feeling I'm in a lot of trouble. All right, we're turning these off. Turning these on. Going after this guy. If we miss him, we might hit the guy behind him. Let's burn him. Burn him, baby. 20 heat. Not so much, but they are standing on a lot of friggin' residue here. Alright, that's the Caesar. Can I move and turn? I can. Confirmed. Do I have enough resolve? I do. It's Vigilance you. Let's go for the kill, baby. Hammer him. We're at good range here, plus he's heated up, right? So it's gonna make it easier for me to hit. Inflicted some heavy damage. We we're activated. They're going first. They're, I gotta say, they are fast. It's what kind of threw me off? I didn't know. Where are you doing? Standing by. Technically, I guess you're just dropping heat, which is probably a smart move, but. It's just going to land you in a lot of hot water here. Do I just shut up this the Caesar? Because he's that guy's already gone. Can I? Why doesn't it let me waypoint this here? Am I not? It's not letting me waypoint. Damn it! Ah! I ran into this problem before too. How hot are you? You're an I don't know how hot. That other guy's gone, so I'm not worried about him. Let's just move into like this. Got enough resolve, so we're gonna put you in here. Vigilance for next turn. Sensor lock this guy, because he moved. Sensor's locked on. Then, we're going to target this guy with an incredibly hot barbecue. Oof. Ah, he's got a lot of heat sinking, man. Plus 50 heat and it barely touched his gauge. Yeah, they're not uh, interested yeah. in fighting. <sighs> they're not interested in fighting today. Well... That's their loss. If I was, uh, if this was earlier in the season, I'd be interested in grabbing some parts from these guys, but at this point, let's just kill them and go home. Let's just kill, oh my god. That's a lot of ER, clan ER small lasers. Confirmed. You'd think he wasn't overheated, so I don't know why he didn't push forward and attack with at least some of them. Something like he could have done okay. Maximum speed. I mean, I know it's like he's out. He's out. Gandhi. Bas they basically lost, you know, two max and two turns. Got the angle. Taking the shot. See ya. Oh no, he managed to survive it, but he lost like half Reporting his weapons. Hit. Receiving you. All right, Scooter. How much speed do you really have? Not enough. Not enough to see anybody. All right, let's get up into the trees. On it. Next turn, we'll go after Caesar Romero. I'm ready for orders. Let's keep this guy hot. If we can't, arrow round. Nice. And there's the blockage. Target taking a critical hit. All right, now we can see him. I meant to do that. Ready for orders. Yes. Look at you. 
I don't need to move I uh, position facing him so if he gets a shot off he could take my leg but he'd have to get extremely lucky to do that and of course now that I've said that Engage. Ooh, lots of leg hits. Hey, let's slip the dog war. You bet. Oh, he's got a heavy goss too. Not that it matters. Well, he's had enough. It's like fuck this shit. These fucking guys. Waiting for orders. This guy's pretty quick, but not quick enough. Got it. Uh, I'm going to leave the rifle on and it would have splash over and hit me, but this guy's taking a lot of back damage, so he's probably going to die on this. There you go. Well, there it is, folks. I was hoping for something a little tougher. I mean, they could have got some... If they had both lances at the same time, it would have been a way different fight. Mission successful. All right, well, there's almost a million there. We got a lot of damage to this guy, though. Well, I mean, not that much. The hip's destroyed, but still. This damage is going to cost us a lot. We'll see how much it's going to cost us here in a second. Oh, quick draw lost something too. Oh, no, that's the damage to the... Uh, that's going to be the damage to the uh, plasma cannon. Uh, Marauder. Going near. I don't think it really applies. Oh, it does. What do you know? The 3M. I could grab that part. I'm so interested to see Rakshasa. There's a whole Rakshasa here. And what did this guy have? 375 XL. Hmm. Similar payload to the Mad Cat. So what do we got? Pirate ATM-3. Pirate Flamer. Regular Flamers. Heavy Goss Rifles. Two. Oh my god. Recoil of four. 100% chance for crits. Falls off to 50% at long range. No chance. Wait, does it? Yeah, 25% chance for knockdown when firing this weapon. Stacks additively with any other weapon that can cause a knockdown. Minus 100% chance for knockdown if you braced in the round prior. Moving before firing cancels the bracing bonus. So you gotta move, brace. It'd be nice to... Isn't there like a, a gyro that braces after move? How much... Prototype double heatsink, double plus rangefinder. This is really nice. Uh, how much ammo? Heavy goss, four ammo. It's okay. Weapon mount, heat. Oh, there's a lot of really great stuff here. Oh, if I have the heavy goss, I mean, I could put that on the Atlas. I mean, I was looking for a solution for the Atlas. That could be it. Right? We put that on the Atlas and then some other stuff. Yeah, now what else though? One prototype double heatsink. But this rangefinder is really, really nice. I'm gonna take this. We we're we're so short of cockpits. That having this thing is going to be really nice. That'll probably go on the Atlas. I'm just having the additional view helps. Like improved MRM ammo. Like, ah. Uh, yep, we're going to go this route. It's late in the season. We know what we want. Oh, well, we sorry. We know we can use. What I want is a different story. Yeah, there's two parts of the Caesar and one part of the crossbow. So, no point in taking any of that because I can't use these for anything. And I don't think this is the first time we face a Rakshasa in this series, so let's go with this. Alright, Caesar, Marauder, and Rakshasa part, not bad. We'll keep the two flamers. Well, no, we won't. 
Uh, basic cockpits can go. Comp suit will hang on to. Four endo steel, they can go. Oh, we got the prototype double heat sink. That's nice. And LRM ammo can go. All right, so that's not a bad haul, actually. We've got a few things we can use here. Yeah, 59,000. Okay, that's not too bad. I thought it was going to be about 100, but that's pretty good. About well, 60 grand, whatever it is. So that's not too bad. Let's see what our tasks are like. How long is that uh, Black Knight going to be up for? Four days, that's it, eh? So the Annihilator can come to the top, move the Banner Snatch to the top, and then the Black Knight can go ahead of the other guys. So six days, we'll have our main lance back. And five days, we'll have the second lance back. Now, how many more days to the end of the month? Seven. So technically, we could pull off two more missions here before the end of the month. That's probably going to be advisable because when we get this Atlas going... Ah, uh, it's... Uh, yeah, maybe. It's funny, I'm so used to, like, having mechs with good speed that now when I'm building these heavier ones and I realize how slow everything's going to be, I'm just dreading the thought of fielding four really slow mechs. But I got to get over that because that's what one of the next series is going to be when we do the, the pipe hitter series. It's just going to be four very slow mechs. So, yeah, somebody pointed out that I should be using these. <laughs> and I, You know what? For the life of me, I can't remember why I stopped using these. I, I just don't remember. I don't. I just stopped at one point. Like, as I was playing, I just didn't use them anymore. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know why I did that. So the heavy goss, what's the difference between this? This is 780 meters damage fall off. Improved doesn't have damage fall off, right? It's still the chance for knockdown. It still applies. So everything is the same except for the damage fall off and it weighs two tons more. Same slots. Like I'm better off going with this, I think. Does less stability damage. Because if you think, okay, if the, think about the engagement it would be in. So, like that last match that we played. If we're running an Atlas in that match, it would have been at least medium long range for that Gauss rifle on every turn. The close range just wouldn't have happened. So, I would have suffered with the damage fall off, whereas the regular. Or sorry, the improved heavy Gauss rifle would have been applying the 150 at max range. So I'm probably better off losing the extra 25 points at closer ranges and going with a consistent 150 since I'm I have a feeling that most of the time it's going to be firing. It's going to be at long longer ranges. I mean, it's only 722, which like is like an ultra, right? Like an Ultra 10. Like we have really, really nice hard points on this mech too. But once you put this in and the ammo, you know, so we do have like, you know, heavy Gauss ammo. We're going to need at least like three probably if we're planning on taking on heavier engagements so now we're down to like I mean yeah we haven't got all this stuff into play yet so we can go with I don't think I've got clan pharaoh no I think one of the things I played around with was throwing the spall liner on which I know increases the weight but we have clan endo and then I've got I know I'm scrolling again rather than actually clicking but we do have a gyro here a double XL gyro that could go in here so now we've got 30 tons to play with. And then it's just that worrying about heat sinking, right? So the heat on this is negligible. It's like six, it's not a big deal. But if we do, like I was playing around with, like I said, a pair of, um, oh, no, not flamers, PPCs. I gotta get used to the icons again. I was getting used, or getting, playing around with the idea of dropping in a couple of ER PPCs. Now the problem with that was, so it was a 300 core plus two heat sink I don't have a plus two, I do have a plus one um, heat sink center torso, but I was playing around with going with, just so you can see what my thoughts was, 
this exchanger, uh, we would need, yeah, the battle computer would be going in this guy with the optics, so I didn't have to worry about optics. It was, uh, what am I thinking? The heat bank. And then I thought about using the uh, Radical uh, heat sink kit. This one's the prototype version. I think I thought we had a No, I don't have a f Yeah, this is the prototype one So dropping that in doesn't do too bad, but like I said without the extra heat sinks, which I don't think Like now we've got one prototype double heat sink, right? So I could add that but then that's it. That's our heat sinking We I've got nothing else to add So now we're stuck and even with the battle computer like if we go, I see the other thing is I don't know all these icons. That's one of the reasons why I stopped using this, I think. I found I was like constantly searching through here. Yeah, I think I have to go to equipment now for this. Um, cool shot's not bad. Uh, where is it here? Uh, I don't know if it would be tracker sensors or not. Yeah, so the advanced. And then we would want to have... Yeah, this would be nice too, the Gauss damage. But it's only 15 points. It's not a lot of damage, that's the thing. It's like plus 10% 10 10, plus 10 damage. It's like, okay, it's 15 points. Is it worth it? Maybe. But I would rather have better targeting across the board than to add 15 points to one weapon. That's just my thinking. Uh, where are... Here they are. So we would add the optics so that we don't need to have... Like, that's the full range too, right? 810 meters. Yeah, so we're good there. We definitely want to have the heat for the heat reduction. And even still, now I'm like, that's that's a six delta. But if I got hit with some incendiaries, like it's we're pretty screwed, right? Technically, I could go with the ballistic for increased chance to hit for this guy. I've got tracking for evasion ignore. And that's it. I mean, I could go tactics, but it's not really needed. It improves call shot, but. I would rather work on something else. So if we decided not to go with the prototype double heat sink kit, that was the weird thing, because I tried to balance this out with um, uh, going with a regular heat sink uh, kit, which would be in here, regular double heat sink kit. And you can see here now, like the heat sinking is already da pretty damn close, but now I can add double heat sinks in, right? So even if we just go with uh, one regular double heat sink, which is what our weight was from before, the heat sink kit and this that we took out. Now I'm even better, right? Just because the, the, the exchanger, the heat bank, and the battle computer heat drops these so much that the, like, and, and our heat sinking now is 60 as opposed to, I think it was 40 with the uh, other one. It's just so much better without having to use that. And I still got 10 tons to play with. I mean, we need to max out the armor. Uh, maybe not fully maxed, but the front would have to be maxed for sure. So six off there, and then... Something like... Yeah, I couldn't do it all the way like that, but something like that for armor. And then we've got other stuff that we could add. Like, and this is without even adding an engine to this thing, right? Maybe I want to split up my Gauss ammo a little bit, I think. Let's put the battle computer ballistic on this side, because if we lose this side, it's not, it's irrelevant then. Um, tracking. So what can we do? So we've got we got the ability. Let's put heat sinks in the arms. Let's bring the heat down into the CT. The tracking can probably go on this. No, it can't. Uh, where'd it go? It disappeared. Now I gotta find it again. Oh god, it's just so much easier to find this way because I know where it is. Uh, okay, tracking. Okay. Warfare suite, probably.
I mean, the other thing to do is, no, we want, yeah, either just a regular Guardian ECM or the Warfare Suite. Let's go with a Guardian, and then let's go with, um, where are you down here? So the range finder we, we were talking about that has to go in there. And then I think I want to add, no, not the AR-12. We should have, yeah, tracker sensors for better long range. It's not as good as closer in close range. Uh, but I don't expect to be at short range with this guy anyway. If I am in short range, then something's, something's bad. We should have vehicles to deal with people in close range anyway. And then we got like five and a half tons. So... I mean, a bolt-on AMS might be nice, but I'm, I'm going to use other mechs for the AMS systems. Uh, something missile-wise. So, Clan LRM-15, which I can't use because I've only got Artemis ammo for this. Streak weighs too much, is twice as much. I think I was thinking ATM. ATM 9 is 5 tons. Improved ATM is 3.5. I mean, we could go with that and a ton of ammo. It's not much. Um, yeah, see, they should have all these little bits here on here. You know, HS for heat sinks, you know, you know, core, whatever, like something just to make it easier to figure out what all these are. Uh, but that's just me being stupid. Um, big surprise. Let's put this HE ammo. I mean, that does give us a bit of cro close range firepower. Minus 50% range to all brackets. So the range on this guy is like, what, 300, 300 meters, really? So, I mean, that's that would be the short range weapon, I guess, if we had to. So 6 times 12 is what? My god, 72 damage, close range. That's not too bad. I mean, our targeting would be screwed up, but at least the two pips of evasion, three pips of evasion ignored, plus one accuracy would be helpful. So if there is a fast guy that closes, at least these things could hit. And we still got a ton. So what? A tag or something, maybe? Uh, or no. Laser AMS, maybe. One ton. Would have to go here, which means I'd have to move the ballistic out of here, or the ammo. No, not you. You, because you're only a ton, right? Yeah. That's going to add to our heat, right? As you can see already. Every time it goes off. But we're not going to be firing this all the time. So it's 12 heat saved. What are we at here? So 12 less will make that 93. And then whatever this adds when it fires. It's 5 per activation. So it's not too bad. And then eventually... We could get a light engine in here if I move... What are we at right now? 700,000. Okay, I'm interested. So if we do this, move you into the center torso. Wait, you can't. You've only got one point here, eh? I thought you had one in the CT. Obviously wrong. Okay, that's not going to work then. Actually, wait. Yeah, you would go back to there. So we'd have to drop the AMS. But then... Sorry, this episode's going long, but I want to figure this out before we end here. So where are my cores? The light engine is going to give us another five and a half tons for three million. Which means we could pull out the IATM. Let's move this heavy gauss ammo down to here. And can we get... Do we have a big... 
Um, I mean, that way we could go with a bigger. Yeah, we got an ATM 12. But once again, this is only going to be close range. It's got a 600 meter range. I think I would rather go with something that's going to be longer range. This is way too heavy. Uh, wait, where are the... Oh, we could put a Thunderbolt in there too, though. For increased long-range firepower. But, the, yeah, at this... At that... I don't know, at this level though, they're just gonna shoot it down. Where are the MRMs? Are they stuck in here? Oh, SRMs, rockets, MRMs. We got an MRM 20. Yeah, I know it's not very accurate. Uh, what ammo do we have? Can't use the Apollo. I could throw tandems in. Or just a regular MRM load. That's 12 turns of firing. Then I gotta worry about... I have to have case then. This removes the chance of getting through armor criticals. Immune to through armor critical hits and damage. So I don't have to worry about like... Like tandem ammo and shit like that from the, on this guy. But you still need case in case they do pen the armor. So, hmm. Yeah, then we got one slot left, which would have to be case. And then at that point, I'm like, <sighs> I don't think we can get away with only two tons of Gauss ammo. Eight shots. Yeah, maybe. But I'd be halving my damage once I ran out of ammo. So maybe it's not an MRM-20. What if we just go... Nah, I was just thinking, maybe if we just go laser vomit, I could add another heat sink, but the heat sink's just so much space. I think I just, I mean... For the extra two and a, like two and a half mil, I mean we'd get marginal increase in damage output. And at this point, I don't think I'm interested in just a marginal increase. So let's put you two back over there. Let's go back with. Uh, let's get that AMS back in here. And then let's get the IATM back. Uh, ammo, whoops, uh, weapon, ATMs, proved ATM six, and a ton of ammo. I mean, we should technically have case here too. That's 10 turns of firing. I mean, I could easily sacrifice, though. If we go to... There it is. I can easily lose a half a ton of armor out the back. There's just so much armor on this thing. 90. 1. 2. And we call it a mech. I think that's our mech. Heat sinking is not perfect, but like I said, with the ATM not always firing, it should be great at long range. And if someone decides to overheat us, we just drop one of these guys. It's like 56 heat each. But two, eight, two of these at 840 meters. The recoil I'm not so worried about, only because the pilot should be good enough to, to mitigate that. 
and then we just stop and just hammer people from the range, which is why we've got the spall liner to reduce our incoming damage. I think that works. For 764,000, I, I don't think that's a big issue. We got a half decent speed. I mean, we could drop the core slightly. We got like 3 5 movement, I think. 3 4. Not sure how it's calculating this. Because on tabletop, that would be 3 5. I know it's rounding down instead of rounding up. Because their run speed is one and a half times your your move speed, and they always round it up. But I think this actually is 4.5 hexes. It doesn't round up. So if you're on a road, it's increased slightly. But if you're in off like off terrain at 4.5, you might be able to make it in the trees, or you might not. It it is a better system than than just rounding up or rounding down. So we're gonna go with this. Validate it. Okay, well, there's the Atlas started. It's only 18 right. days. I'll get it in the schedule. Yes. And I think we can probably leave it where it is for now. So we'll be back in five days. Because we're going to, yeah. I'll, I'll pull, pull off two more missions on this planet. Then we'll jump. And look, I'm going to go for a five skull world, world somewhere. And just look for a, I will just pick a fight. Actually, we're going to go into, um, we're going to go back into uh, uh, Marion Hegemony to try and pick up some more quick sell stuff before the end of the series. I don't know if we can, but that's what we'll try. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and drop your comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.